Hi everyone, in today's video we're going to have a little look at why people swing out before they do turns. My pupils do it a fair bit as well. For starters, we'll have a little look at this video of one of my pupils doing exactly that. Head at the lights. Just try and make sure just back there, it was a tiny, tiny little movement, but there was a little swing out before you turned left. Can you see any potential problems with that? If anyone's obviously. Okay, and there wasn't, and I'll add yeah. that as well, but just try and ensure that you're nice and tidy by looking up yeah. rather than down. If you look down on the floor, you see the angle of the kerb. Yeah. rather than where you're pointing and that angle of the kerb actually makes you think you're going towards it and um, you'll swing out a little bit and that's what people tend to do all right yeah all good mate what i was talking to my pupil about about angles of curbs and lines i'm going to go into a little bit more detail in a moment but it's not the only reason why people swing out to turn for me i think people routinely slow down and approach junctions at the same rate for everything they don't really look at the corner or around the corner to see just how sharp it is and they tend not to differ their speed i always hear um, even driving instructors say for a turn major to minor it's always slowing down and into second gear and that frustrates me because it's not they're all different but let's go into a little bit more detail of what I was explaining to my pupil I'm going to try and point it out now it's very very similar to the video that I put out about parking next to the curb it's all about these curbs and lines and the angles that people actually see now the swing out if I'm doing a left turn is usually done like this. I'm going to signal, no one's around, only if people come out. But people look down at the curb and see it's angled and then think that they're going towards it and that's why they tend to steer away a little before they do the turn. And exactly the same happens when people do right turns, but it's the opposite way to the white line let's have a quick look at this i'll just whip the car around so i'm going to get straight on with this right turn and give you an idea of what i was talking about so we've just done one with the curb where we saw the angle exactly the same happens with this right turn because i'm looking down at that angle of that line i should be looking up at the gates to keep straight and then slow down enough to accommodate how sharp this corner is there shouldn't ever be an excuse of saying well I can't see into that road because if you can't see into that road you go slower you still take up the same position and the correct position and literally you go slow enough so you can see properly into the road so what are the dangers of swinging out to turn well this video has actually been prompted by a video that has gone out today not today for you but today for me I'm confused already i'm going to upload this and put this video out well into the future but today is the day where a video went out about um, a motorbike has overtaken a bmw doing a right turn and there was a few points in the discussion of this video and i'll put a link to it about the BMW swing into the left and that that's okay to negotiate the corner. Well, it isn't, as that video proves. So one reason why swinging out can be a problem is because if you're not in the correct position, other people won't see you. It happened to me many, many years ago where I was performing a mock test for a pupil of mine and she went to do a right turn, not from the correct position, she wasn't necessarily swinging out but she wasn't all the way out towards that center line as she should have been 
and a motorbike came from behind and overtook and she didn't see it she went to do the turn and I had to dual control her and stop her so swinging out can cause that problem it can cause a problem of not being seen by other people and also if you think if you take a position to do a right turn you're out near a center line and you're going to perform that right turn that right turn position that you're actually getting into is saying to people you're turning right and if there's enough room people are allowed to pass you on the left side and they will do but what's going to happen if you swing out well if you swing back the other way and the road's a little bit narrower that's when you're going to have a dent with that car coming past on this left hand side and the same can be said for when you're turning left when you're turning left and you've taken up your position to turn left and you've told people maybe with a signal people may very well be overtaking you and it's when you swing back out that you're going to go into them and that was the problem with the first clip that we saw with my pupil on Queen's Drive in Liverpool so take care when you are doing these turns to try and look really far up the road and get your car pointing in the direction you want it to stay in all the way up to the corner and then relax your grip looking at that little patch in front of the bonnet remember destroys most things that we try and do i hope that helps if you've got any questions please stick them down in the comments and i'll do my best to get back to you take care everyone thanks for watching i'll see you soon